All right, uh, let's make it happen. Verdant Rejuvenation. Yeah, you can have an orc. No problem. Yes. Yes. Oh, man. We're going to destroy this land. We have so many triggers. Nothing. This one. So many triggers. This one. So many triggers. This one. Booty triggers. Destroy this land. Scry two. I don't want either of these. All right. Draw two, then discard a card. Let's discard uh, Rafine's tower. Then mill two, and we can return a creature from our graveyard to our hand. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. That was a solid, solid little turn. What up, everyone? Justin Parnell back with more Historic Brawl, Lord of the Rings, and we have a spicy meatball today, and that is, of course, Tom Bombadil. That is right, Tom Bombadil, the Saga lover himself. There are two two things in this deck, and two things on. Okay, maybe a two and a half things. Number one, of course, is Sagas. With 30 Sagas in this deck. We got little ones, long list of the Ents, big ones, Kiora, Best of the Sea God, and everything in between. At all points of the curve, we got a Saga from one mana to seven mana. And there's 30 of them. Some of them are good, some of them are bad, some of them are in between. Some of them are really great, like Fable the Mirror Breaker. That's really nice that we get to play that, and it's on theme for the deck. So that's thing number one. Thing number two is we got a lot of ways to bring all these sagas back. Not only does Tom find them whenever a saga finishes up, but whenever they go to the graveyard, they're going to stay there until we play a card like Triumphant Return or Eerie Ultimatum, or Brilliant Restoration, or Dance of the Mance. You ever realize it's really hard to put four fingers up and not your pinky up? Four ways and Dance of the Mance. Okay, and that can bring all of our sagas back, and then at that point, we it's almost impossible for us to lose the game. Tom's indestructible when there's four or more saga counters on all of the sagas you control, so we're going to try to make that happen as much as possible. Also, the, the half of the deck is uh, is ramp and sweepers. Those are pretty obvious, but we are playing sweepers like Depopulate, Shatter the Sky, and Fumigate that really benefit from Tom being on the battlefield because he's going to be indestructible. Depopulate and Shatter the Sky can draw us a card, and Fumigate just going to gain us an extra life. So uh, we've been talking long enough. It's time for Tom to start singing about sagas. Before we get to the game, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to this channel so you keep seeing this sweet, sweet content every day. So, Amy's playing Sauron, Dark Lord. We know what Sauron is about. We are playing Tom the Bomb Badil. And we're going to mulligan. We just want a little more lands. Okay. Well, this has the birth of Miletus. We have a lot of cheap ones. We'll keep... We'll keep this. Play a survive Trium. And pass. Okay. Sauron the Dark... The Dark Lord. Alright. Birth of Miletus. Give me that basic planes. Like one basic planes, please. Because that's exactly how many I have. Okay, so we have uh, orc, an orc friend We're making a wall. It's got menace, but we have Kami of Transients. Okay, uh, the one ring to rule them all. Well, we got Nazgul. We got some hot Nazgul action. Hot Nazgul action. I was going to say, I will block. Don't think that I won't. God, I literally can't I literally can't cast anything. <laughs> I need blue mana. Incredible. Uh, attack for two with death touch? No, I don't think so. All right, key to the archive. That is a good one. That is a real good one. All right, Rogren Triome. It is finally time. One ring to roll. Oh god, we got we got Sauron. We officially have a Sauron. 
Blue mana doesn't like me. I have the same amount as blue of everything else. Okay. Ornithopter of Paradise. Well, Tom, we do not have enough uh, stuff. So we're just going to Eldritch Reborn. Which, Sauron, awfully good against the Eldritch Reborn. Awfully good. Alright, no, no attacks, no attacks. So, and being the end step, if the enchantment died, you could turn Kamiya Trans against your hand. Oh god, hit us hit us with the Crozen Grip. The Crozen Grip piece off of the key to the archive. Oh, we are being undone by the ring. One ring to rule them all. Each player mills four to all non-legendary creatures. I guess we'll block this. You don't have Death Touch, do you? No. Okay. All right. If we draw a land, we will return Kami to our hand. Okay. Elspeth's Nightmare. Elspeth's Nightmare. That's pretty good. Kami of Transients. And then we're going to Elspeth's Nightmare. God, this orc is just getting giganto. We got to get that, that gone. And we have to, we have to just, I don't, I don't even know. Flying Death Touch lifelink. We gotta try to live. We gotta live. We are not living. We're not, we're doing a very bad job at living. Orgish Bowmaster. Oh, they gotta do a mass one. Deal us one. Now they can discard their hand. And, uh... Oh my god. We know we know what Sauron's all about. We don't have any counter spells to speak of, so... Okay, what does this do? Target creature gains indestructible. Lazatep plating. Jeez. Okay. But so far, all of the same cards that we had. We can't read ahead. I think we might just be... Toasted. Because Tom... Tom is not, uh, Tom is not doing it for us. All right. Madomai's Prophecy. Then we'll scry two. We need land, I suppose. And then we'll play Ornithopter of Paradise. And then we will pass the turn. All right, we're dead. We are we're mega dead. We're mega mega super duper dead. All right, all right. That's one. That's one down. That's one down. Enter the God Eternals. Gross. Absolutely gross. Twenty-two damage. Just a casual twenty-two. Okay. Well, turns out we need a blue that game. Turns out we need a blue. That's what we get for playing a five-color deck. Okay. We have all of our colors. We will keep. And we get to Cloud Key on enchantments, which is really spicy. Uh, we'll play Nesgan Wanderer. We don't have any enchantments to speak of yet, but we will. But we will... All right, Cloud Key on enchantments. Enchantment. Man, if we can hit this uh, Verdant Rejuvenation <laughs> with Tom Bombadil. El Tom Bomb. All right, show me enchantment. There we go. History of Benalia. That's what I'm talking about. We can't cast it. <laughs> of course. Okay, that's fine. Coming of Transients. Uh, no attacks. That's all right. We'll get we'll get some. We just don't we just can't do double black or double white. That's it. Just no double black or double white. We have double blue, we have double red, we have double green. Prismari command, gross. Super gross. 
No ring rates. You keep those ring rates out of the game. We don't want to see any ring rates. Okay, no ring rates. Bilbo. Oh, we're going farmland? Perfect. All right. History of Benalia. Okay. Reveal a land. Yeah, we'll reveal this land. Attack for three. All right, now we just got to keep finding sagas. Got to keep finding sagas. God Bog. Mass Orcs 1. Well, no. All right, well, we got a lot. Let me tell you, we got a lot of lands. We got a heck of a lot of lands. Do we think that Tom Bombadil will live? I'm willing to bet he won't. But you know what? Maybe, just maybe, maybe he will. Maybe there's this tiny, 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 tiny little chance that Tom will get to live. Sauron's Ransom. Okay. Let's give them the untapped lands face down and Gleaming Overseer and Temple of the Seat face up. What'll it be? Okay, you got rid of the two bad, the two good lands and you have the bad land and Gleaming Overseer. Okay, right on. Been tempted by the ring. All right, scry one. Draw a card, discard a card. Uh, no blocks. All right, Mr. Bombadil, your time is now. All right. Looks like we hit a binding of the titans. Messian Wanderer. Uh, no cards to choose. Okay, that's fine. Mill three. All right. Uh, let's play the Eldest Reborn. All right. They're going to sacrifice a creature. Hit nothing. Probably going to sacrifice this orc army. Maybe. I don't know. Whatever they sacrifice, they don't have Death Touch anymore. I can tell you that. Attack. This doesn't have Death Touch. Attack for 12. This is their last time to kill Tom Tom de Bomb Badil. Tom de Bomb Badil. Uh, because soon he will have hexproof. And even sooner. Alright, there's Sauron. Alright, so Tom Tom Bombadil gonna get to live. And then we're gonna get to rejuvent uh, verdant rejuvenation. Which I don't even know exactly what's going to happen with that, but it's going to be some nonsense. All right. Well, they got a Sauron. That's that's for sure. Highest mana value. Okay. One ring to rule them all. All right. What do we want to get? What do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of Gleaming Overseer and Bilbo. I think, I think it's more likely they're going to get creatures, so. All right. Tom. Hexproof and destructible. All right. Uh, let's make it happen. Verdant Rejuvenation. Yeah, you can have an orc. No problem. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Oh, man. We're going to destroy this land. We have so many triggers. Nothing. This one. So many triggers. This one. So many triggers. This one. So many triggers. Destroy this land. Scry 2. I don't want either of these. All right. Draw two, then discard a card. Let's discard uh, Rafine's Tower. Sure. 
then mill two, and we can return a creature from our graveyard to our hand. All right. Oh, that's pretty good. That was a solid, solid little turn. Solid little turn. No attacks. Pretty good. Pretty good. Nice little turn there. You know? That's got... This doesn't have death touch anymore, right? This has death touch. Tom can't block it. Alayla's also got death touch. Okay, no attacks. All right, we got a lot of triggers. Okay, what are we targeting? We're targeting Bolus. We're returning Rafine's Tower. We're putting a land on the battlefield. It's going to be Haunted Ridge. I know we need to discard down to seven. All right. Tom Bombadil has found another. It's found Fable the Mirror Breaker. Land? Reveal a land? Uh, let's get Spar's Headquarters. Choose a card name. Sanctum Weaver. Uh, actually, Kami of Transients. All right, Kami of Transients. So next time, next turn we'll play Kami of Transients. Then we draw two, discard. All right, let's discard Overgrown Tomb. Then we mill two and we can return a creature. All right, we don't have any creatures. Okay, great. That has worked out quite well. All right, Joyra of the Gitu. And then we are going to play Sanctum Weaver. Yep, you can have an orc. Messian. Okay, we get a land? No, that's fine. Alright, and then we are going to uh, one ring to rule them all. I make an orc. We make a fairy. Saruka, Sarukarus, nine months. Thank you so much. I don't know. I had so much trouble pronouncing your name. Uh, have an ability of an avatar. Choose a creature to be your ring bearer. Well, that's going to be Tom. Tom's our ring bearer. Mill. Um, then we are going to Elspeth's conquer conquers death. And we are going to get Sauron. Yeah, we will target it. Legendary artifact or a legendary creature. Alayla, you are gone. We'll get a land. It is... <clears throat> it is fantastic. Alright. Uh, seven damage... So there's Nazgul. And then we will attack. Tom's our ring bear. There can be no blocking. I think that's all we can do. And look, we have seven cards in our hand. Magically. Now, they're mostly lands. And a Kami of Transients. But, still, feel pretty good. The Meat Hook Massacre. That is a good one. We will move our commander to the command zone. They're going to gain so much life. Alright, we'll take one. Alright. The Bath Song. Shovel any number of target cards into your library. Um, all of these... Uh, all of these sagas. Those six. Just a bunch of sagas. You're back. Draw non-legendary creatures. That's destroyed. 
We lose a life. We make trolls. Discard two cards. We absolutely will discard two cards. Actually, let's discard uh, this. And then uh, we will have this tapped, tapped, and our lands will come back. And we'll play a deserted beach. We're going to play Tom Bombadil. We're going to play... We're going to have them exile two cards in their hand. And then I think we're going to play Kami of Transients. We get a lot of untapped lands. All right, Kami of Transients. Draw two cards. Hey, there's Jorah's Familiar back. We'll play Jorah's Familiar. All right, then we're done. We have one land untapped. Okay. This ha goes away next turn. Okay. The Phyrexian Scriptures. All right, we can return something. I don't think we have anything to target. Each opponent loses one life for each card in there. All right, then we got the War of the Lost Alliance. Search for a legendary creature. Put it into our hand. Uh, Alayla. Okay. Reveal, look at the top card of everyone's library. Each opponent loses one life for all of their creatures. Okay. Not not as much as I would have thought. Alright. Exile two cards. Commence the end game. Okay. Orcish Bowmasters. All right. Pretty good. Pretty good. Gonna deal one to something. One to Bolas. All right. And then those two cards are exiled. All right, Alayla. Uh, Frixian Scriptures. Make some stuff. Put a counter on Tom Bomb. Tom Bomb is now an artifact also. We're going to cycle. We're going to take a lose it, lose a point, lose the damage. And we're going to cycle again. Do another one. Restoration of Iganjo. Resolve all of those. That's fine. Restoration of Iganjo. Search for basic planes. We got our basic planes like on the second turn of the game, I think. Okay, decline. Uh, and then we will attack with everything. Not Tom. Everything else. Okay. Two. All right. Again, a life. We're done. All right. Well, Tom looked pretty good this game. Man, the Bowmasters are... This is a kind of crazy card. The card is actually legitimately insane. Nazgul. They are the Ringmaster. Attack and Bolus. Draw a card, discard a card. We will just block. We'll have to sacrifice it. We'll play Raf Capuchin. And then, then I believe we are good. And then we will just, we will simply attack. Sure, all non-artifact creatures. Clean all that up. We do lose a lot. Oh, we're not, we don't, we don't, uh, we're no longer... Uh, we're no longer winning. Uh, we'll get Kami of Transients back. Search for a legendary creature. Tamishi, Reality Architect. Alright. Attack for seven. Land. 
100 Heirloom, Tamishi. Then we'll Bolus, target our opponent. Call to the ring, put a counter on it. And then we are done. Alright, I think... Death, finally. Sauron. Excellent. Uh, Tom's our ring bearer. We won't pay two life. Triumphant Reckoning, nice. Uh, choose up to one creature. Yes. They gain a life. Bounce that. Choose a ring bearer. We're not going to do anything. And then we're finally going to go in, exile the graveyard, and then attack. All right, good game. That was a marathon. Man, Tom Tom goes crazy. You don't have to do a whole lot. Just a million triggers. One million triggers. All right. Uh, this looks pretty great. It's a little slow, but we don't have a double... We do have double green. Okay. Okay. All right. Tapped. Restoration of a Ganjo. That can ramp us a bit. All right, Mind Stone. Mind Stone, Mind Stone. We will pay life. Restoration of Iganjo. We will find our basic planes, our one and only basic planes. All right, all right, all right. We can discard. Let's see. We actually, we, okay, so discard a permanent. All right, let's discard uh, black, white, okay, sure. Discard, return, return this, it'll enter tapped. Then we will play this planes and play Showdown of the Skulls. Exile four. Ooh, we got a little the Kami War. We like the Kami War. The Kami War is quite spicy. Eerie Ultimatum is really what we want to hit. That's really what we want to be doing. Alright, Vizier of the Scorpion. Alright, so technically... We have, uh... Six mana this turn. I'm pretty skeptical that this is blue yeah oh black yeah you know what i mean let's try it let's roll with it all right plus one plus one counter on architect of restoration the kami war do it resolve Ooh, boy it does okay well in that case um let's get cold steel heart sauron's ransom Monkey. Monkey time. All right. Don't take that monkey. Don't take that monkey. No! You got the monkey. I thought those two were going to be good enough. The game... Oh, yeah. I did turn, I did turn it up earlier. I turned it down to about 50. Sauron. Yes, yes, yes. The ring has tempted you. All right. Bounce a thing. Well, let's bounce this zombie army. Okay. Now we turn... Okay, return a creature from your graveyard. We don't have a creature in our graveyard, so... We're going to 
Mending of Dominaria. Mill, hopefully hit a land. We did. Okay. Jetmir's Garden. No attacks. All right, so Eerie Ultimatum. Let's try. Let's see. Black, black, black. White, white. No, no, no. Green, black. Here's another black. Does that have Death Touch? Zombies have Death Touch. This is an orc. Okay. Commence the end game. I've been had. A trick. We have been tricked. All right. Mill two. Return a creature. No creatures. All right. Is it time? Yeah, let's do it. Eerie ultimatum. Yeah, you can have it. You can have a zombie. That's fine. I uh, choose up to six. All right. I'll choose six. We have the real trick. Don't be fooled. <laughs> We're the one. We're really the ones with the trick. No, we don't have a planes. We got one planes. Oh, we have a triumphant reckoning in case things somehow go exceedingly poorly. Gain control of an artifact? Well, oh wait, we should play this. Then let's gain control of this artifact. You make an orc again. You got, you got an orc. Scroll of Isildur. Oh, are we gonna are we gonna wash away? You can't have both the mass tokens at the same time. Choose something to be your ring bearer. Uh, spirit. Get up, get up there, spirit. No attacks, though. Yeah, we went a little, uh, went a little, went a little nuts. You know, just a little, just a little bit. Attacks, family, choose a non-land, turn it to your hand. A non-land card, so we can get this, uh, aerial tomato back? That seems pretty good. We're about to Tom Bomb. Alright. Draw a card, discard a card. We'll, we'll trade ring bearer for ring bearer. I think it's only fair. Come on. Where's that monkey at? There's that monkey. Depopulate. Oh, depopulate. That is a really good one. Choose two target creatures. Put a stun counter on each of them. I like to stun those. Discard a card? Uh, yeah, sure. We'll discard this Blood Crypt. Search for a forest... Uh, yeah, we'll get this Zyatora's Proving Ground. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Sometimes it just doesn't let you. Discard two? Uh, yeah, let's, let's, let's discard these two. We need to depopulate still. Okay, shove all of those in, get all our lands back, and let's first okay so we can attack and then get something back all right so the first thing we need to do is attack with both of these and we're gonna get this back and that's gonna be huge all right we have treasure uh let's play tom bombadil First, Tom might get countered. Wash away. Okay. I thought Tom might get countered. Uh, we'll put Tom in the command zone. That's fine. All right. Depopulate. You do get an orc. You do get an orc. All right. Have we played? A we have not played a land yet. That's really good. Uh, what do you got in your hand? 
What you got in your hand, friend? I'm just curious. I just want to know. I don't want to read ahead, though. Nah. First chapter's just fine by me. Ah, uh, they get the cruelty of Gix. And a counterspell. Okay, that's all good to know. They're in back again and triumphant. We do have a creature. Ooh, they're just searching. They're searching for something. All right. Okay, so a lot of these are gonna go off. Those are all gonna go off. That's not, so just Cruelty of Gix is gonna stick around? Okay. Paying three life points. But we get to we get to go look for whatever our we whatever we think our best card is. Which I mean, let's be honest, it's gonna be Eerie Ultimatum. It's absolutely gonna be Eerie Ultimatum. And they're gonna get all of these back. <laughs> That's so silly. Alright. Uh choose a pony. All right. Uh, let's tap this for mana. We actually need it more than we need um, anything else. All right. Cruelty of Gix. You know what we you know what we want. We're just gonna get this uh, eerie ultimatum again. Search for an equipment. I think we have an equipment. We just want we just want to make treasures. We don't even have an equipment. Exile the Saga. Alright, Exile the Saga. The scroll. They get this back. Our creatures gain death touch. And then we got our thing. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. Well, let's first play Tom Bombadil. But we're gonna specifically tap stuff. So we're gonna tap for a green. We're gonna tap for a white. It's the only we only have one thing that makes blue, huh? Blue? Alright. Red. Okay, so I gotta make sure. Uh, so this makes all three. This is fine. And then we need black. All right, black, black. Okay, black and white, black and white. All right, black. Okay, Tom Bombadil. Pay, pay one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Wait. Do we not have enough? Oh, I'm just counting poorly. Okay. I'm just counting poorly. Okay. All right. We'll, we'll put a counter on the architect here. Sure. Resolve. All right. Eerie ultimatum. <laughs> Let it happen. One, two, three, four, five. Give me all of them. Choose an artifact. Give me that Mind Stone back. Destroy non-land permanent. Cruelty of Gix. Exile a non-land permanent. Actually, exile that. And then make a treasure. And we exile the top four. <laughs> this is... Tom. You've been called upon yet again for your services. Eerie ultimatum. The bowmaster is back. 
Man, the Bowmaster is awfully good. That's a really powerful card. That card is actually kind of nuts, to be honest. I think we're finally going to get him. Bilbo. Okay, well, all right. Oh, we're going to take four here. We're going to take... We're at three. That's, that's, that's pretty real. Sauron, okay. Uh, choose one to come back. Yeah, let's choose a uh, murder strider. Choose a non-land permanent. Um, you, you're gonna go back. Stun you. All right, I think we got it. Search for a forest. Just gonna click on whatever forest comes up first. As far as headquarters, that's fine. Bounce that, and then I think, finally, finally, narrowly, destroy a land, sure, why not? Alright, and then we can simply attack. <laughs> we do, <laughs> we do get pinged. We do get pinged, down to two. But then narrowly escape. Just barely escape. Just b -b -b barely escape. Okay. Thank you all so, so much for watching these Lord of the Rings historic brawl videos. And if you enjoyed what you saw today, please throw a like on this video. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. That way you don't miss any other historic brawl action as we go through as many of the Lord of the Rings commanders as we possibly can in this format. There's like 85 of them. So we're not going to do them all, but we're going to do a bunch, okay? You just want to be along for the journey. If you want to see what I'm doing when I'm not on YouTube, you can follow me on social media right down here, especially that Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash jparnell, where I stream every Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Might play some historic brawl, might Bruce commander decks, always a lot of fun. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I'm Justin Parnell. We'll see you next time.